give this book. George Wells-Wetes, a little critique. Because at the same time, I'm not also a literature student. <laughs> Rather, I'm a geographer, study I know. But as the responsibilities come to me, so I prepare myself what way I will be able to give a keynote address. It's a great learning for me. So especially in this area, because I'm very careful that because in this, uh, our principal is in English department actually, where I am from social science or this I am from geography department. So, so as I prepare myself, <coughs> this I learn a lot about how the intelligence, especially the English department. I I never thought that this the English department they are only learning the language actually. Now I come to know that they really learn about the social issue, especially the injustice in the societies, which I learned from these George Orwell writings. It's a learning for us. So I will say much also, but I want to read out what I prepare myself. So that will be suffice. George Orwell's is born in 25th June 1903 and died in 21st January 20, uh, 1950, eight days of 46 only. Eric Arthur Glenn, who used to write under the pen name George Orwell, he was an English novelist, essayist, and journalist. Beside being a critic, he used to concentrate on subjects like social injustice, resistance to dictatorship, and support towards elected communism. All Wales' work is appreciated by influential and political work. Wonderfully, he was born in India. He is born in India. Blair was raised and educated in England from where he was one years old. After school, he became an imperial policeman in Burma. Before returning to England, where he began his writing career as George Orwell, a name inspired by his favorite location, the River Orwell. He made a living from occasional piece of journalism and also worked as a teacher or bookseller while living in London. From the late 1920s to the early 1930s, his success as a writer grew and his first book was published. He was wounded fighting in Spanish Civil War, which is 1936 to 1938. During the Second World War, he served as a soldier in Greenwich Home Guard 1940-41, worked as a journalist, and between 1941 and 1943, worked for BBC. The 1945 publication of Animal Farm led to fame during his lifetime. He's the one who put this animal farm. During his final years, he worked as 1984 and moved between London and the Scottish island of Jura. <coughs> 1984 was published in June 1949, less than a year before his death. Today, yes, I share this. As a keynote address, there are a lot of learnings. A person who is only 46 years old, who is fighting against injustice, against dictatorship. As I prepare and read more, I think today, in our present days, this book, written by Dr. K. B. Kamjamun, will be very relevant in our society. 
because in Zastis we see around, we experience around, and also where are we? Are we only following the dictates of the vegetarian? Where there is no freedom, Victoria. Where our environments are set according to the wishes of the majority, sorry, Victoria. So these books, I really feel everybody we have to read also. So after immigration and after also when Professor Lalena was invited yesterday, I talked to him. We are very happy that he can come with his wife also. I think that is very significant for us as students, as teachers, to go deeper in the books. I think this is what I want to say today. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Elkobu, for your enlightening key keynote address. Uh, up next, I call upon Uncle Len, Uncle Len to meet us uh, in seeing the Bethany uh, Christian College and town. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Salute, we all raise up those who can. I think they take up in there. I think they look at the popcorn.
Siti Mary Brett, and our chairman, Dr. Nuka Hawke, and Gutana Kubung, and then here, Uhe Palung, here, and Lungi, Commissioner in Context, my beloved Palung and Lungi, Lungi, he has made it a point to be here because he values his guests on so much. We thank you, Palung, for coming to me. I have here my own brother here, William IPS. He works at SP Technopal, and then he could be here with us. I'm so happy. And uh, I welcome all our guest students also. Thank you for um, supporting us here and this book release. And here at the outset, I would like to thank God for this book release, long overdue, after 24 years. 24 years. I finished my PhD in 1998, as uh, Chairman has said, it took me three years. And uh, in fact, by God's grace, I, I could finish right. Then my younger brother, Mike Shun, who helped me, typing all those things, and then Chandran, no more here with us, Uncle Chandran. Then my kid sister Kim Boy, because of her I would get my thesis topic when she was in Bakaibles and my guy, Dr. S. N. Persa, then MU family like right from uh, Bulalden and family like Nulandu, and then uh, Roland Nalkotang in Fimate, then Daitimas who always cook food for me. You know, I thank the PC also, I am, and then R.K. Ramzan, who kindly put me in the guest house uh, only for uh, 15 rupees per day. People stay 650 per day. So as a principal of affiliated college, Bethany, the inspiration from Manipur, all those things. So I thought I'll never finish. So I requested them to pick me up in the guest house. So they put me in guest house and by God's grace, you know, it was like this. I was registered in 1995, but my guy retired, he left, I stopped. Then he was re-employed, I continued 1997, uh, 96 I mean, then I continued writing, then 97, uh, I think after almost, not even three years, I could submit my thesis, and i like to thank God and uh, all the professors like uh, Saksena, uh, Tiku, Ternaya, and uh, like uh, most of them going to build the Lord, right? Except Udena. So, put the Lord into eternity. <laughs> we were there and then. And mine in the introduction of my thesis uh, for Pulune and all will be heard, so with all much ado, I'll just come to introduction of the thesis. My thesis I was seen here is George Orwell is the creative critic and then it has seven chapters. Chapter one is introduction, two is background, social, political and intellectual, and then the chapter three formative years, an insight into mind and art of Orwell. Chapter four is creation and criticism and the twin aspects of Orwellian phenomenon, major critical essays, concentrated textual scrutiny. Chapter six, point of view in criticism. Chapter seven is conclusion and then the last bibliography, then the bibliography. And I studied one year about research methodology in 1990 and I, I finished my MPhil in 1991, though it is not recognized by UGC anymore. Whatever, I started with my MPhil, and then when I studied research methodology for one year, as Putin has rightly put, MPhil, I thought I'll do language, but I have to combine it. You know, in this school, we had high century, then uh, we want to open the first year. So I have to, uh, I mean, flip between this Lanka and Nepal, and if you do language, 
you need to be regular. So you cannot have what you call, um, you cannot be like part time, you know. So, Aunty said he had been studying for so many years, but if you stay in a, what do you call, a university for language, because there is language lab. I was so keen to study like language, no? But this is literature. And in language, uh, they taught us that language gives birth to a nation. I'm so interested. We want a nation. We want our self-determination, this and that. And then language lab is there. For example, Jam, Y A M Z A M, or J A M. Which one is correct? You have to go to London. There is language laboratory. You have to put up Jam with a slip of paper written Y A M or Z A M or J A M. If it's correct, it will say correct. Incorrect, incorrect. You have to check the device. So I'm so interested to study language. But literature, I can be private. I can combine with the, the college. So, research methodology, methodology they taught us how to choose a topic. That's very important. So, Saxena Tongai said, think it over, sleep it over, the topic of interest, maybe even the emotional involvement, or maybe political aspiration, anything that interests you, choose that topic. If you choose a topic that does not interest you, you are old already. So you must choose a topic of your interest. For me, no more interest. <laughs> because Shakespeare, John Dan, John Case, William Oswald, all this over there. People have done it 1,000 times. Now, but then, let me address you. I would like to choose a topic of relevance. That is relevant for us, our people in especially what we call northeastern part of the country. The topic that will be I want to repeat relevant. So none were there, so I thought I'll not do research. No interest. Then I came home. My kid sister who I mentioned Kim Boy, she was studying at Pakai Christian College. I said, Kim do you have any problem in your study? He said, um, um, this I cannot understand, too tough. So I said, sit here. We put a man, I put on, uh, I sit on the chair and I talk to teacher, the optional <coughs> subject. It happened to be animal farm. Oh. Animal farm, you know, written by Joe Zorro. Um, he, he wrote in maybe 1945. And then, you know what happened? When I read it, it has such a hold on me. I said, Kim, get out. Only 80 pages, no? It's like magic or like what shall we say? A devil, a demon, no? It possessed me. When I read that, Animal Farm. And in Animal Farm, when I read introduction, it was like this. Uh, it was about pigeon revolution. Now we have revolution, right? Jar, the England Jar, Nicholas II. There was pigeon revolution, then successful. After pigeon revolution, you know what happened? People are not satisfied. Stalin, Nelly, Lenin. They were worse than the jar. It goes on vicious circle, like airplane that never takes off. So when I read that, I, I said to him, get out. <laughs> I read the whole night, not, not in one go. 80 pages, then I ran down to university. Sir, sir, can I work on this? George Orwell, they say, oh, this is too new topic in 20th century, the latest. No one wants to touch it. It's too new, too revolutionary, you know? To not only, it, it, even it's prophetical, you know? So, when I say that, they say, well, come. There is no one who dare to touch this. George Orwell, it's too hot. Do what the topic, no? Relevant is about notice. Notice burning, the whole world is in there. And then there was none to guide me, except the head of department, Dr. S. N. Prasad. 
welcome, come soon. <laughs> he welcomed me, huh? so happy. So, introduction, I must come back to M. Phil because I got the topic from M. Phil, and this M. Phil is about a farm where a couple were working, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, they have all animals. Animals who are not satisfied, they say something like this, we have piglets, we have eggs, but where are they? Never increase. Slogan, two legs back, four legs go. All the animals are equal. That is the slogan. Now, in the farm, you know my rule, John, Mr. and Mrs. Jones. So it came to me that it is, it was about Indian Revolution, Burmese Revolution, Southeast Asia, India, Burma, and Pakistan. You know about that, and then it came to mind, and then even my wife also more expert than me, no? Or, uh, she knows it very well. And at last, she, she blamed me. You, you submitted political consciousness in George Orwell's novel. You use me like guinea pig <laughs> because he contested election for three times. <laughs> three times I congress two times, FPM one time. And you know the meaning I think you get the bottom line. In the farm, only a couple. Mr. and Mrs. They rule them. And then what happened? Then they said let us do strike. Then they say to the horse. When Mr. and Mrs. Jones to come to milk the cows, you give Almighty King to do the rest. The pigs, no? They were propagandists. Pigs, they made the program. Let them strike. They are only two. We will kick them, no? Sky high. So, when Mr. and Mrs. Jones came for milking, the whole year, Almighty King, others, they give the rest. The farm was free. They were so happy, you know, what did they do? They were dancing, singing some of England. And only it depends, the story finally ended. You know the slogan? All the animals are required, two legs bent, four legs go. But when the story ends, the pigs, they started sitting at the dining table, using spoon and fork. The pigs, they put long pants and they started walking two legs. So the story ends like this. All the animals are equal, but some other animals are more equal than the other animals. In America, one that are more equal. About 10, 20 pages, she got doctorate degree. When I wrote this political consciousness, by God's grace, I got first class. And then, you know what you got? There was Viva for that MPL thesis. And that was divided into five chapters. You know, when we do thesis, we divide it into chapters. One chapter was conviction. Conviction. One is conversion. One is incarnation. One is um, what we call uh, identification. Uh, the last one was sublimation or something, five chapters. And one person Diku, who had his Sindhu here, who is against my guy. You know, among the guy rivalry. Is it? Pudena, all, all the professors, they say if, if he didn't ask me to guide this and that stuff. He asked me my topic, that half chapter. Comes along. Why do you call this chapter incarnation? I said, sir, Jesus was God. <laughs> I tried to just pick my professors with the gospel. I always talk to them. I said, Prasad, Kogin, all of them, would you go to heaven? Gandhi, no? I said, sir, he is a student, no? I said, sir, would you go to heaven after we die? We don't know. <laughs> always, no? So, Professor Tiku was against my guide also. So, you know what he said? Comes from way to incarnation. Now, it my topic, introduction, you know, as I say, conviction means this George Orwell was like my brother, let me say. I'm very proud to have my brother here, who was IPS at Tengropath SP. Mm. They sanitized all Moray, 
and Amisha went and gave him one day for one month. After that, they gave him promotion, ADIG in fall. They sent him to New Delhi, so he couldn't return there again. After he left, all hell broke loose in Mori. Very unfortunate. This George Zor was like my brother. I think in Molamen, below Rangoon, this George Zor, his real name was Eric Blair. George is Elizabeth's, Elizabeth's father, or well, he's a river, like a river. Now, Peter Pye. Peter Pye. Where is that Peter Pye? George is the sixth Elizabeth's, Elizabeth's father. So, you know, he was posted, like my brother, so to say, thing, no, but Monument is below Rangoon. IPS. I believe, guys, IPS is the corrupted form of imperial police service. It's convenient. That's why Indian, IPA, they say Indian police service, but it came from imperial police service. He was posted there. Then, the Barbies, they hated them so much. Sometimes, in this year, he hundred people, Burmese. In London, he said, two Burmese died. Like our parents here, okay? <laughs> Ah, it's life, it's life. This George Orwell, he was educated in Eton, Oxford. And he had crystal spirit. When we say crystal spirit, means transparent spirit, like someone who is born again. So he didn't want injustice. And as Putin has talked about that, he talks about class system also. He belongs to lower, upper middle class. The lower upper class, that was middle class, lower class. So, he suffered marginalization. I think we know that, no? Marginalization that you, I. This is my Eohama, too. Nangute, Keute. Nangute, Keute. That was so much fell in Eden. Because if you're rich, everybody there is cat. Those who are poor, no cat. So I said, why this class system then? Why you are posted to more men? Wrong reports. 100 died. Newspaper said only two. So he want to resign. He resigned. He became red picker, like a tramp. And he started writing Animal Farm. So when he wrote Animal Farm, it became the best book of the year in America. You know? I want to repeat. He resigned IPS. He started writing books and then, for me, uh, this, the main thesis of uh, my research is what we call um, political consciousness. The literary criticism is that just the continuation. And uh, you may be wondering what we mean by uh, literary criticism, no? So, when you look at me, some are concerned. Uncle, did you read here? I say I put lipstick. Then sometimes I put cream, it is white. And we went for condolence, no? Then boy now say, Uncle, you live this white. I say I put cream. Yeah. So if you say, Uncle, there is some white on your lip, that is criticism. But this criticism is not like we criticize people. So criticism is what? Of a decomment exercising of one's judgment. Yes. On all the questions that are involving seeing its meaning, seeking its truth, appreciating its worth. And this, though we say critic, criticism is a discipline of appreciation. And it's not um, what we call necessarily destructive. It is essentially what we call um, involving appreciation, not a commitment to full finding. You know, like that. There is some mustardy on your teeth, not like that. It is, uh, I mean, the criticism concerns about uh, the source drawn on. Who does George Orwell take his story? Source. The source he took was, he was fed up with Burmese people. 
minority rule. If they just attack them, he wanted to write political idea and add it to political art. He want to make an art into political plan. What it means is that if he say, strike, you kill all English, you'll be hanged. He want to make political uh, writing into an art form. That's what I mean to say. I don't know who they get to be heavy, heavy doors. Heavy doors, no? The criticism is uh, like, what do you call, it concerns about the source drawn on. The source, Zozo took for animal farm is that he wanted to write one novel, something that would unite all the Burmese, fight the British, chase them all. So he started thinking like philosophers. One day he saw a small boy beating an ox, an ox, and he thinks, if the ox knows his strength, and fights back. The man has no chance. So, animal farm was born. So interesting, he revolutionary. And we are in animal farm now. <coughs> you notice, in fact, your child were in animal farm. And I say, we are in the second round of animal farm. <coughs> Do you know British had left? It's here for Four court is not easily broken, India, Pakistan, Burma, the United Pongshan, and then what we call Jinnah and Gandhi, the United King of the British. But what happened? We fought together, Anglo Kuki War, we fought British. Then we have stepmotherly treatment. So my topic is very <laughs> political. You not believe it. Because we want a land where we can join World Cup. We want a land where we can be all people, where we can join all people, and we are not treated like that. Then, what I'm saying the conclusion, here in little criticism concerns about the writer's identity. What was identity of George Orwell? He was a class person. Mm -hmm. He could not get posted in London, he got posted in Burma, among the mosquitoes, mosquitoes, no air condition, right? People who are in, I mean, good connection, they got posted in London. He was posted there in Burma. So he wanted to end imperialism. So in my thesis in political science, I say, George Orwell, animal farm is like a girl, I say, the striker. You know, in fact, George Orwell attacked England, no, Russia, imperialism. But in, in my writing, in my political consciousness, in my days, I say, George Orwell, with striker, he hit red. You know red? Red in Russia. You get the point? When, with the striker, he hit the red to pocket it, it rebounds, and the white enters. You get my point? I don't know. It's a bit deep, no? Can you concentrate on it, please? Red in Russia. George Orwell attacked Russian imperialism. This Putin wanted to regain the Russian Empire. He attacked Russia, but it rebound and hit British Empire. I think you get my point, no? So they are so happy when I argue, come on. Why are you call the incarnation? I said, sir, Tiku. Jesus was Christ, he was God. He did not think Robert, Robert to be quote unquote. When I said, his eye was bulging. No. He became man, died on the cross. You were born in Bethlehem, I said, in that Bible. Yeah. Well, then I was preaching there. <laughs> Prasad was very happy. Huh? <laughs> you know, I was countering the tiku, mighty tiku. Huh? Fanatic Hindu. That is not. Incarnation. I said, he died from my face. He became red picker. He writes. Jesus also God. He became like man. He identified so his identity, you know. He was, of course, middle class, he thought. But I paid, he resigned. Identified people, and he joined Spanish. Who are they, you know? 
bullet also passed through his throat. Before he went to the front line. Are we going to the front line to that? No. He went to the front line, no? He likes revolution. And then what happened? When the Hussein started going, this is not inclination. Then I don't know what to say. I look at my guy, he said, mm, I have to defend. I cannot say, Sarah, sorry, this is this, 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 you know, incarnation, please forgive me. I cannot say that. No? I said, Sir, this is my topic, my thesis. I call it incarnation. <laughs> the whole crowd, you know, they said, Ha ha ha. Then they asked for so many. For so many, what don't you want? Come to the moon, say, They go, go food, airlines, nah. Leg fried chicken, apple, nice, nice curry, auntie, and then Nepoy Hawkeep, no? And that there, you know, Americana. She was doing library. We we ordered nice food, dish, and like the best apple, this, and I was so scared they may ask me more, no? But they said, come to the moon, it closed my mouth. <laughs> so, uh, I cannot ask any questions. So, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry now, now I must say this, uh, this all the demands are equal, now we are there and when I was in Bikarjan, there was um, what we call um, one Nazari rhyme and it speaks about unity. Now, what is the theme of Zorzor? If all the weaker section of the society unite and fight, they can always defeat exploiters. George Orwell theme, no? Liberation. I think it very much about that time also. Uh, then in 1973, uh, there was one Nazari poem. I, I taught in Bikazan. I was teaching for three years. Then the poem was written that the Manska. Uh, I mean, uh, her real name was Damanska Janina, or Janaina, but then in 1939, 30, uh, she was in concentration train in German, and then she started painting in Italy and then immigrated to USA in 1952. That was the year I was born. Okay? Now, when you say, Uncle Mumpate, this and the. February 29, no? Right. If this is my birthday, if we celebrate uh, after every four years, no? My age will be only 18. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I was born in 52, but we didn't know when I was born, so I asked my mom, when I was born, Zamuel and Ivo, I am in Nature, with Moldavia, now Pan Saka, I am in Nature. My children, my wife, they ask me, Dad, when were you born? I say, I was not born. <laughs> then they wanted to celebrate birthday, they say, birthday for women and children. Keep a salsa. Birthday, no? No, 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 I am fed up, they kept on asking me, that your birthday when? 29 February 1952. <laughs> so, they forget many times. <laughs> this paper, I thought they will not remember, but they suddenly remember. I even get this from Lampu, some gift here and there. No, no, no. They say, one of them, they say, one of the birthday of February is on the go to. We don't need also not yet born, no? I'm really stupid. I thank all the auntie family once again. Lungin Bunsongs. No, Lungin Bunsongs. I was like a frog in the well. So, that, the oil was dried up, it climbed up. I have been in six villages, different villages, studying, no? If you come down, you see me and no work to study in Germany, then I came to Vitali 76, and I think that the well dried up, it's smelly, I climbed up, I saw the pond there, I swam it. That pond happened to be Vitali. Can you say Amen? Amen. You know why they, B-A, 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 B-A
PUB, MBIT, MA English, MBIT First Class, MBIT First Class, PhD, I rotated around Langkain, in Malunli. I have not gone to the Lika Katapumbe, because MBIT also then Chalvenship Diploma and Pastor Ordain also. Here in the time by Washington DC, Senior Pastor. I got all this from Bethany, so Bethany really amazed you. And I think my wife is like a princess. When the, the prince was under a curse, if a princess kids would have him to a charming prince. <laughs> so I think I was like the frog. Anti kiss me, I become like this. <laughs> now, the last. There's something we need, please. Let me the last, okay? If all the seas were one sea, oh, what a great sea that would be. Written long ago by what we call Petrius. This lady was in German concentration camp, painter, and immigrated to USA in 1952. She writes like this, Nazari writes. Anyone come across? If all the seas were one sea, what a great sea that would be. If all X's, one X. What a great X that would be if all the men were one. What a great man he would be. And if that great man with that great X cut down that great T tree, it falls into that great sea. What a splash, splash it would make. Can we say amen? amen? I think that is unity. Now we are about two, three, now. Huh? So, I don't know, not up to me, it's to the leaders, right? So, uh, this criticism is not condemning others, I want to tell you. Now, if you try to criticize animal farm, no? How he wrote, the background, everything, I think it will get through some of you, no? It will get through, I hope. Thank you all. His presence, and uh, I would like to request the authors to help him out in yeah to help Professor Naldena in releasing the book. So I would like to give the time to our esteemed professor. I Naldena hereby declare. The book entitled George Or Orwell as a literary critic open. Thank <laughs> you. 
when he came to get registered, registration for his PhD, particularly on this topic, Lord War OS, as a literary critic, I was surprised. <coughs> and in our university library, Manipuri University Library, we don't have much document. And I wonder <coughs> whether Kukandamu will be able to complete this PhD. <coughs> but today, we have seen this brilliant book on George Orwell as a military critic. Kukar Ramo had a privilege of working under Professor S. M. Prasa, very well known and high standing professor. All coming from Bihar. I have not seen an Indian professor like Professor X. M. Prasa. But gentlemen, I have very high regard. And he's one of the few English officers in India who could speak, who could write such fluent and beautiful English. And Kukandama happened to work under his supervision. Um, as I am a student of history, <coughs> I do not know much about Decatur. And particularly, I have little knowledge of George Orwell. I know him as an abilities, not otherwise. I have to read these two novels. And you will come, as Ukandam has just pointed out. And the other book, the other novel, 1984, which he wrote in 1948. This novel was published in 1949. And I don't know much about the background of uh, George Orwell, but from what I have read, but from the thesis <coughs> written by Dr. Kanjamu, George Orwell had a socialist meaning, <coughs> a socialist attitude. <coughs> We can say he belonged to a liberal socialist group, socialist party. According to him, there are four classes in English society. The aristocratic class at the top. <coughs> and the class, higher class men, higher class class, the priest class. Then at the third level, upper middle class. And for the lower upper middle class. And George Orwell himself claimed that he belonged to the fourth class. Lower upper middle class. Which we also call Gentle, family kind of uh, uh, thing. So, George uh, Orwell, as a socialist, he was not actually a Marxist 
all around Karl Marx. But his serious idea, his ideology, as a social liberal, uh, was clearly reflected in that novel, The Animal Farm. To him, uh, I mean, his concept of class struggle was quite different from the traditional Marxist, all over our Marxist. For the Marxist people, there are only two classes in the society, all over the world. The upper class, the bourgeois class, or the capitalist class, the exploiter. And the proletariat, the working class, the exploited. And Marxist people, unlike the socialists, are good at that. All history, even to Britain, is the history of class struggle, class conflict, a conflict, a fight between the upper class, between the capitalists, the bourgeois, and the political class. And what is history after all? According to the Marxists, it was a history of class struggle. But unlike the uh, Marxists, those who were all well belong to a liberal socialist. And this socialist idea, as I have said, is clearly reflected in uh, his novel, uh, Animal Farm. For writing a book on those who are well as a literary critic, who Dr. Kandamu has made a very rich contribution towards our understanding of the literature. We understand this book enables us to understand not only those who are all well, but even the contemporary world. Do all of those who are well. The writers, English writer, dramatists, novelists. And the book is an eye open, an eye open. Right. But as a citizen of history, I really could not comprehend uh, many of the writing quotations of the book written by Kukangamo. He has written very pleasantly letting this, which I cannot write. You read the book and you will learn many things, I assure you. And I can say that this is a great book. It is indeed a monumental war book written by Kukandamu. And for this book, Kukandamu will be remembered by the academic world. Not for what he speak. What he speak varies in the thin air. Whatever we speak about, we talk about, what we say, they don't last. But what we write, but in a book form, it lasts forever. And who found a book contribution towards the enrichment of the English literature is indeed great. To this book, the academic world now will know who is to come the moment. And this is a great book. I really congratulate 
who got done more or having written such a brilliant book. May you read them. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hello. Today is a great day. And on this uh, uncle's birthday, we read this book. This book has been more than 20 years lying. And it was published uh, two, two years, I think it's a year now, huh? already published in Delhi by the kindness of one of our editors. Uh, who, who came for the inspection of our um, BA. This man helped me to print out this one and send it and brought also. I had told you to publish this book. This was unpublished. Actually, we are not very much keen to publish. We are very, very ignorant. But when the art and everything comes out of this, this is very important again when we are going to be accredited by national accreditation. So we come to know that publisher, publishing is very important and it can be published or not by the, every teacher is asked. So today, I thank everyone, uh, senior teachers, <laughs> here and there also this day, I invite you all. I could see some as now. I don't know the website is uh, sitting. I could see uh, some relatives also. And thank you all and be a teachers and be a student also. You are here. I don't know, you are very less. The students are very less today. You think this many of us they went back or I don't know. We are happy. And we see the always you are the educationist and actually our guide in this our society. As I have been in uh, my own university for a long time, and I think you uh, know, when you were there also, well, you used to come specifically for the starting of this institution also. Pulau Rota in Fimate, in Fimate, and you know, they all are there, so we dare to come and approach. I did not know when to put application also, but to drop the application and all. So Lalkotaka was guiding me and the Sanazawa, one uh, as of, he guided me where to put, uh, where to, put, what to apply, which room shall I go for, uh, because I want to start college, I said, we want to start. Lalkotaka said, there are one couple who say they, will, they want to start college, they will come back, like he said. But I say we really need uh, because we have come to the trails and that and then we did our uh, people to learn more. Now, degree, degree classes, we want to start. So we came and they are helping us. And again, uh, after a long time of suffering, we joined together in the one because of you all, I, I joined uh, the Western Party. Huh? Our parties here. Federal party. Federal. Federal party. 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 Federal is there. Nationalism is there. Yeah. Though we cannot have our own uh, nation very big. So his study was very much interesting. It made him very much interesting. 
that's why it's saying no story. I uh, we sit together and we discuss all this. In 1988, because of these cases also, we went and joined this uh, first uh, world conference of the Zombie, uh, the zombie Conference, uh, Zoro Conference in Champai, 88. First Zoro Conference. That was in Puma Siloa and Tiko Pimpati. We went secretly and joined the meeting because we were interested in what will happen. What will happen? When some will become a nation? When some will become a country? When should we have a country? That's our dream. So, so long we do not have even a staff and duties. But our aim is to have a country and become a nation. And also, our children will go for the Olympic map from us. So we are, I feel, as a Christmas, I used to feel more than 15 years with children. How are you the children are here? Play as They are screened out at Infa. Again, those are crews that also screen out again in Delhi. So we'll go. Except some of our except some other people, like Mary Kong will go. The rest are not, they are standard. Every is good people. They are they, they favor. There is favor in them everywhere. So uh, we feel that we should have a country, we will become a nation. This is a, and we are following or we help everyone, uh, those who are fighting for revolutionary, helping them not really, but we support, moral support. Anybody, anybody who wants to create a country and become a nation. So this is how we live, all of us, we are together. If we are born again, child of God, we are the children of God. When we think about the world, the people, how they enjoy it. Small, small country also, they send out their candidate for the Olympics and they get. But for India, it's such a day, for us, there is no chance. Actually, no chance, no. So God has separated us. <laughs> I think God has. People have uh, done that. They have done the separated things. They don't like to give us separation, but they have physically separated us. We have been separated up by this time. Because we cannot go to the area, they cannot come also. It's physical separation. We should take something seriously that what God is going to do with this. <coughs> we ourselves will not be able to fight for this, this extent. But we have come so far, I think, progress so well by them. They don't like us, so we are separated. So if we want to be separated, it's going to be very difficult. We never dream so much of so we are you that we live together. But now, I think we all know that the situation, our situation, or let us not be discouraged, but we think that God has a plan for us. Plan, very good plan, a plan for us. Let us take opportunity. And today, he being an uncle say, his birthday, we put, uh, it was not a uh, very clear birthday, no? <laughs> you are born, and, uh, you know, you know, you are born, the grand, my mother-in-law say you are born, you do that, so you can kill one uh, jungle, jungle animal like that, no? Or uh, that was the time that we have, uh, we have uh, zoom cultivation in that side, like that. that. So it's, it's also, but it, we know that uh, he was he was born in 1952 around. So this day is fixed already. So we never celebrate also his birthday, but this time we feel like celebrating his birthday. My birthday used to be celebrated all the time. It's <laughs> <laughs> too much also. But, uh, his birthday never been celebrated. I told my children also. I convinced them that this is very important in your father's birthday is very important. Because it falls on once in four years, not this year. So it will not have a year. And he was also not willing to celebrate, as he said. This is women and children birthday, not for men, not for many men. But this time I I think I convinced him or capturing to celebrate his birthday. So yeah, you are invited, and uh, but they, after this there will be a birthday a celebration there. Some families are also coming, and we have there. So you all are invited to come and join. 
So thank you for coming. Mary Beth was teacher here, teaching a long time now. She joined the NBO, very good NBO. And two are also uh, some of the children from Parma, respect people that want to support also, and also I think the group, the group is helping the children, children sending teachers how to learn English. So we are so thankful, Mary, because you are not with us, but you are a vegetarian and you never forget. So for the Dalgan and whoever the children, they are teachers, they are not simple teachers. They are like, I feel like they are my daughter, you know. So Budana has married one of my daughters, so you are my son in law. <laughs> in that way, you know, we feel we feel very close to you because you marry very well, more and more, more than other days. So this is how and I see uh, sister, sister Doctor Shin, she's also she's on the doctor, and some other and then uh, uh, Jim Baide and uh, Jim Baide and Hauki. Nah, and all other. Some, I saw some go, I think, where? I think it's some go is here. I saw some go. Oh, I saw some go and others also. I do not want to go there. Yeah, I call you all the two for this joining. Because it is a great day for us, especially like this, no? In our family also, there is no one to become an doctorate soon. My daughter was joining, but because of sickness, she not again uh, the, the, the research. So others, I don't know, it's, it's been uh, hard work, actually, along, and we support everyone, no, as Uncle said. We support everything. Sometimes I send some, uh, I cook some meat, and they used to send, when the boys used to send, and the hostel boys, they, they, they used to eat, they say they eat the meat from Hankal, they steal, they store the meat and eat like that. So we have to support, supporting is very important. It's a long time and then but being a father, it was very difficult. And it is a uh, hard time. And uh, Uncle, I appreciate his work when he is, uh, when he is uh, entrusted, no? he finished this time. Actually, physically he may not be strong, but Whatever his work he's doing, even now also, uh, actually in his life, there are so many things that can take away his life. Once he made accident in the, I was making brick and then brick pan brick for that uh, engine now. Well, we used to draw water from Kuga. He stepped on that engine and he almost. Collapsed that also all his legs were uh, he was in the hospital. So and again, again, sometimes he has got uh, this uh, night time. He used to cry. Upon he used to wish he sleep, but he had some problem. He used to we all him. It seems that he say, if you don't awake me, I'll die. He say, that's problem. He he died now and then so many problems and in once we had made accident in Pins uh, Corner. Pins Corner, there was like a person there, the so accident took place because one SP or additional SP tried and hit our jeep. And the airport was broken, otherwise we all would die. No? It was the time that from there he saw, from that shock, his heart was, there was some problem in his heart. We, we do not realize long time, but he had some blood and he has to be treated. They want him to <coughs> give him this uh, 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 replacement, what they call it, uh, in heart. No, they want to put something in heart. He said, I don't like for anybody again. So like that, his life is going on. And he finished his uh, study very hard. And even his pants or other ways are also done. Such, such a hard work. No? He told me now, he's only his seat. No, no time. And actually, he has to finish. Because being principal, it's not a mom, no more a child. He should finish. No? So because of that, it took a long time. 
and but he finished soon. But uh, soon after he submit what happened again. And his his health was also not recovered yet. Then he was kidnapped three days to be killed. <clears throat> if not even fifteen lakhs from me. Whereas I don't have even sixty thousand rupees. When I speak this my heart is pointing. Sometimes he was in there for nothing for my land, my property, just because of jealousy. He was kidnapped and God saved him through the window. Through the window. So we have been hiding ourselves for a long time, even up to Burma. We left this palace for a long time. This came past, we would not stay. We suffered many, many, many things now. So we come there, we could not so at last peace was restored by God himself. And even, even though we lost all our land, all our property outside, this institution is still today by your prayer and by the grace of God. So in, in this long journey of my family now still, he, his return was not out, he submitted after he submitted his cases. Then we were in the Donald Trump and we, we did not think about the even results anything also. But slowly we came back, slowly we built up. Many people suggested that we should sell away all these things and go to Delhi and buy flag and stay. You were all enough, that is the question. That is the I mean that always people say. But I say if we sell away this one, and say somewhere will die very soon because this is the calling of God. And God has called us for child evangelism, not only child evangelism, but grown up and even the BA comes. When the BA comes, we put child evangelism study because we are child evangelists. And all the BA students also should learn how to evangelize children. But in that way, I feel that God has, God has brought this 52 years in this institution. So you all are here, so I just connected everything as uncle has got this one and this. His thesis and his degree is very, very important for the institution. What does it mean? If he is not, there is a chance to go to, as he had a chance to join government job not long ago. And before almost his age was a retirement and he, in future, uh, I forgot the name that for oh, in the now in the Manipur University. Gambir. Gambir was uh, actually junior. Gambir like uh, and all he helped in their study. Then Gambir called and I'm going to leave a job in Siluja. Please come with your your, your cases and your cases and what interview you will get. Which retirement you will get. Now, pensionable, one lakh per month. He was ready. But God, uh, God, uh, it will be he spent with tears in, inside the car with towel and he read the Bible and God told him not to go. How? Roots, the book of Roots. And Noah uh, said to root, don't go to another field. Say to this young man. So we obey the word of God. He didn't go for the for the sake of his institution. He, he dropped the government job. Easily he should get that. Since we are uh, UGC crafty, UGC recognized. The institution is UGC recognized. All his service here will be counted if he joined that one, no? The university. So these chances are lost because of this one. But we want to educate our people. And even then also, those are these great persons, everybody. God has given us this institution and God has given this degree to uncle so that we can get a college and uncle this. In the old days again, for this PK, he tried again and again. That's a very, very hard again for him in the age. But he could finish. And I want to appreciate him and I want to thank him also for trying so hard to save this institution. But he is saved by his degree.
Today I feel privileged to see that one of the person I want to be long time is Pu Elum de Mayores. Recently I read his book, very, very nice, and fit 
This was raised with the IRS, one of the most popular and very well, uh, what do you call career in the IRS. So I'm very happy to see this also. So I'm very happy. Also, we feel respect, besides, of course, our guests also. I want to thank also Anki also. When I was a student, I used to go to their house. When they were in posted in Dibugara, I was also there sometimes. So, and recently, when you read their book, I think, please hold on his book, how really meticulously he maintained his books, I think. And also, Professor Ruivel told me that one of the best libraries in his house. Now, That's I just want to mention about it also. I have great books. Yeah, one of the best books. Then also, through his book, you can share, see how the, his career. Then also, he's very, very humble when he's the book also. But IRS and also how he did, I think it's very respected so You may not know him also. When I I still I feel also very happy also. Yeah. Then also, uh, okay. Uh, huh? John, okay. Please, please, present. First of all, I'd like to request all the DM staff, DM department, please come in front. On this auspicious occasion, we would like to express our heartfelt congratulations to Uncle Mo. God has led you so far, and we today would like to celebrate with you your lifetime achievement. So we request you to kindly step up and please accept our token of appreciation. Ma'am King. <coughs> International University Manipur. Thank you, sir, for coming. And uh, I even thank his better half, and I even thank all the invitees, all the audience in this occasion. Thank you all, and I even thank uh, the organizing committee, I should say, the uh, faculty members of this Bethany Christian College, and led by Uncle. Kobung, Dr. Kobung, Vice Principal of this Bethany Christian College. And thank you everyone for coming. Thank you all. The program.
bless you. May the good Lord 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 bless you. Everybody, happy birthday to you. ปาดปาดยันบอยนี่ปาดเลยปาดเลยปาดเลยปาดเลยปาดเลยปาดเลยปาดเลยปาดเลยปาดเลยปาดเลยปาดเลยปาดเลยปาดเลยปาดเลย